Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Network Africa with me, Cynthia. We begin with what's happening in East Africa. Now, as East Africa leaders meet in Tanzania over the crisis in Burundi, the military is attempting to overthrow the president in a coup. This development comes weeks after Western nations as well as neighboring African countries tried to persuade President Nkurunziza not to run for a third term as it would be an unsafe decision, which is what we saw with the protests which claimed dozens of lives in the last few weeks. However, President Tukuraziza and his supporters maintained that his first term didn't count because he was put into power by the parliament. Now we're going to be looking at the Major General who made the announcement just a few hours ago. He goes by the name of Major General Godefroy Niyombare. We're going to be looking at some of his, who he is, is basically what we're going to be looking at. Now he's Burundi's former head of intelligence. He declared a coup some hours ago, like we just told you. And then he was removed as the intelligence chief by President Nkurunziza in mid-February, that was um, this year, earlier this year. There was no reason given for his dismissal, but Radio France Internationale says that his dismissal could be due to his disapproval of the third-term aspirations of the president who is currently in Tanzania. Now, here's more on those developments in um, what's happening in Burundi. We have a report for you concerning what's happened with the military trying to overthrow President Nkurunziza. Here's more. Police fired guns and tear gas towards protesters in Burundi's capital, Bujumbura, on Wednesday during a demonstration against the president's bid for a third term. <laughs> Demonstrators say President Pierre Nkurunziza's bid for another five years in power violates the two-term limits outlined in Burundi's constitution. After the protests, a prominent Burundi army officer says he is dismissing President Nkurunziza. Major General Gottfried Niyombari, who was fired by Nkurunziza as intelligence chief in February, spoke at a military barracks to reporters. Well, the statement was immediately dismissed as a joke by the president's media advisor. 51-year-old Nkurunziza is currently attending a meeting called by regional leaders in Tanzania. Protests organizers have urged the other African leaders to demand that Nkurunziza's bid for a third term is halted. The protesters are also urging the president to remain in Tanzania. We don't want him. We are tired of him and the things he has done to us. He thinks of us citizens as a cup of tea he can drink up. But let him try and drink us now. Nkurunziza, who once led a rebel group from the majority Hutu population against the minority Tutsi-led army in the war, has pointed to a constitutional court ruling that said his first term did not count as he was chosen by lawmakers and not voted in. At least 20 people have been killed since unrest erupted more than two weeks ago, according to an unofficial count by activists, and more than 50,000 people have fled to neighboring states. Now, Ambassador Chika Anibo, who's a former